Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review of the Too Faced, the Return of Sexy Eye Palette. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. It's a very nice hard plastic. Um, it comes with three different sets of colors, the Bombshell, the Icon, and the Ingene. I'm not even sure what that word is. So these are the three sets right here. And they're beautiful colors. I was super excited when I saw this. Comes with a mirror inside, and then the three sets of colors. Uh, so this is the bombshell, the icon, and whatever that one is. And then it also comes with an eyeliner. Um, it has the pencil portion and then the smudger on this end. And it also comes with a Too Faced shadow insurance, a little version of it, which is really great. And behind the mirror here is kind of hard to pull out, but I'll show you. It's a little book, a little page on each one and how to create looks. Now, I didn't personally like the looks that they had in here. Um, it's just not some, none of them were anything that I particularly liked, but I think it's great if somebody doesn't know what they want to do with these colors. I do have this on today. I have on the icon. I have on, let's see here. This one is highlight. I have the gray in the crease. I've got the plum in the crease, or I'm sorry, the gray is in the outer V. The plum is in the outer V blended out into the crease. And then this one is used to blend and then, whoops, which one I done? A little bit of that one to blend as well. I need that little bit of like a peach color just to tie it all in so it doesn't look too off. Um, now, one thing I will say about this is the texture is very nice. It's very creamy. Uh, however, it, every single one of these colors either have glitter or shimmer of some sort. Now you've got some like this black one that has, you can see the glitter in it. And then you've got some that just have a sheen to it like this one, or most of them tend to be a sheen kind of like this. Now that's nice, but it's not something you're gonna be able to use for every day. Sorry, my hair is kind of like, this is my new, what I call my mom hair. I just throw it up in a little twist and that's it. Um, sorry, it's kind of all over the place. But um, I think these are all nice. I think they have nice pigmentation. Um, I think they stay well with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance because that's what I used it with. But I think overall, unless you really like, well, oh, me sneeze, sorry. Achoo, oh, sorry. <laughs> unless you really like a lot of sheen on your eyes. I tend to like sheen and mix in a little bit of matte to it to kind of help even everything out. Unless you like a lot of sheen, this palette isn't gonna be for you. Now the reason I first decided to get it was this one right here because I thought it was gonna be a really good dupe for the Lancome Bronze Amour. That's that one right there. Very similar looking, right? They've got same amount of colors. Um, and so I thought it was gonna be very similar to that and it actually isn't. Um, the pigmentation on the Too Faced is not as much so as the Lancome. The Lancome, you barely touch it and you can just see the pigmentation. With the Too Faced, you kind of have to work into it a little bit more. You need a more dense brush. You can't just use a light and fluffy brush. You need to kind of pack it on a little bit more and you need to work with it more. Um, I think the colors themselves, I'll swatch a couple of them just to show you, are very pigmented. They show up great. Like, look how pretty that is. Um, sorry, grabbing a towel. They, they have nice pigmentation. It's just they have a little bit of fallout, and it's not fallout like you would typically see where it's like as soon as you touch the brush, it's all over the actual um, packaging. It's more fallout of by the time you go to apply the product, it's not sticking on the same way. It isn't placing exactly where you want it. It kind of like disperses out more so than staying directly where you want it. Now they do last throughout the day. I've not had any problems with end of the day feeling like they, they mold, mold together too much or it just looked the same as when I had it on this morning. And I'll show you again a little bit more. My lighting is still off in here. It's like too something right now, like bluish something. I don't know. It makes everything look kind of grayish blue. I don't know. It's off. But anyway, I'm working on it. Um, 
So overall, I think this palette is a great palette. I think it's definitely geared more towards someone that's going to wear it for going out at night, um, the high school slash college student, um, somebody that wants that really shimmery color. Um, probably not as much so for someone in the 35 on up age range, I would say. Um, I'm 38, but I'm gonna mix this with some mattes generally to make it work. Um, but I think most people don't wanna really work at getting something to work for you. You just want it simply to be able to apply it and very simple and it's ready there to go. That I don't feel is, is the case with this. Um, I do, as I said, think it is a nice product for someone that's a little bit on the younger side that wants more sheen and more, you know, shimmer and glitter into their shadows. Um, but overall, I tend to like Too Faced products. This one was just, I thought it was gonna be like that palette you could grab and take and you have, you know, the dark smoky, the plums and the browns, but it just wasn't what I thought I was getting. Um, it just ended up being a nice palette that I can work with, but not the wow that I was expecting. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching. Bye.